preacher often talks about differences between the various gospel. Well, one of the difference between the gospel according to Matthew and the one according to John is in John we can read that Jesus says, I am the light of the world. And in Matthew, Jesus says, you are the light of the world. And you are the light of the world. It's not like uh, you might be the light of the world or you will be the light of the world if you follow these rules or live according to those principles. It's not your call to be the light of the world because it's our call. No, no. As you are today, Jesus said, you are the light of the world. And it's very interesting and powerful to hear in these times. Um, I said often we live in dark times. We live in a broken world where politics and a lot of politicians, a lot of leaders um, try to divide us. And, and create rift between people. That's how they can hold and, and keep their power. And I'm not just talking about the election of Donald Trump in the US, but it's a phenomenon that we can see across the Western world. There's many people who feel disenfranchised. They struggle to understand the complexity of our world. They not sure how things work and and they don't know how they can follow even their children their grandchildren and then someone some people show up and they begin to say well you see all your problems we know who is responsible it's their fault and they designate a group and and they say it that the very understand in a way that people can easily understand. You have lost your job. Well, that's that's who took your job. You're afraid for your security. Well, they're the one who bring all this violence in our neighborhoods. You you're worried about the state of the country. Well, they have came here, and since then. A country of change that's what they say and that's why it's so powerful to be reminded that we are the light of the world and we have to be this light of the world and we have to be visible it's too easy to see the current state of our world and withdraw in our churches or in our house and our little comfort and say well that's not my battle well, people want this, well, let them have it. That's their problem. Or to say, well, I'm too busy to care. I'm too busy to do something about it. No, we need to be a visible presence. We need to engage the world. As the message, the translation of the Bible by Eugene Peterson says, we're going public with this. As public as a city on a hill. And to be visible in our society, in our neighborhood, in our community, in our church, in our family. It's not, once again, to boast. It's not because we want to prove that we are better. It's not because we want to pick a fight. It's because we have this message. This message of hope we can offer to all. A message of love. A message of inclusiveness. And also a message of courage to do all of those who are afraid. To remind them it will be okay. Our life might have changed, but one things have not changed. God is with us. God hasn't gone nowhere. And the words of Jesus are still with us. And we can say to people, if we can come together. Talk to one another. Meet one another. We can make a difference. We can make sure that there's a safe space for all. We can make sure that all might be included. That all can win. 
we can make sure if we are this visible light of the world that the sun can shine on all of us. Once again, thank you for listening. I'm Reverend Stéphane Vermette. I'm the lectionary man. If you like this, you can subscribe or share it with your friends. And until next time, take care of yourself.